Plus, more and more people are enjoying the great outdoors this spring and summer. Texas wildlife officials are reminding everyone to look with your eyes, not with your hands. Stephanie Serna tells us why touching or interacting with wild animals can be dangerous for you and for them. If you're planning on a nice nature walk at a Texas state park, keep in mind that you're sharing the outdoors with wild creatures. According to Texas Parks and Wildlife, many species, including birds, deer, and snakes, are active this time of year, and their young often stray away or appear to be abandoned. Animals that are most often picked up by well-meaning citizens are baby birds and deer fawns. Texas wildlife experts say you should avoid lending a helping hand. That's because many human-animal encounters are unnecessary and can even be detrimental to the wildlife. When it comes to deer, a doe may leave her fawn for hours at a time while she is looking for food. Sometimes people may spot the fawn alone in tall grass and try to help, thinking that it may have been abandoned. However, biologists say this is rarely the case. This also applies to birds. Experts say if the bird's eyes are open and if it's hopping around, it is probably fine. And that was Stephanie Cerner reporting. Texas Parks and Wildlife says to leave all young animals alone unless they're obviously hurt or orphaned. In that case, you should call a permitted wildlife rehabilitator. And you can find more information on the Texas Parks and Wildlife website.